Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. Today I am going to be telling you guys my top five kitchen... Oh my goodness, do you guys remember in school when you used to do like top fives? Please leave me a comment if you used to do that in school. You know when people have like their top five? So you'd ask like a guy that you fancy like what's your top five? Well you wouldn't ask him, you'd get your friend to ask him then your friend would tell you and if you weren't like number one you'd be like oh my gosh. In fact, that is actually how I ended up breaking up with my first ever boyfriend when I was 10 years old. He put someone else in the top five who I didn't think should have been in the top five. And that kind of led to a breakdown of the communication that we never had because we literally didn't speak ever. Anyway, that's a different story. What I'm going to be talking to you about ever is not my top five guys. It's my top five healthy weight loss foods in the kitchen which help keep me on track. If I don't have these items, in my house, in stock in my kitchen. I'm a little bit, <laughs> it's not good. If you wanna know what my top five healthy foods slash kitchen items are, then simply keep watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and join me on Instagram. There's now 10K of us on Instagram, what the heck? <laughs> what is going on? Join me on Instagram because I love it and I post there a heck of a lot. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's everything. I think that's everything. Um, okay, where shall we start? My oats. I love oats. They are such a good source of energy, slow release energy that will keep you feeling full for longer, which means that you don't get that dip after breakfast. They are a great source of fiber and they are so versatile. You can put them in pancakes, you can put them in muffins, you can put them in a bowl full of milk to have oh so creamy porridge and you can make your porridge loads of different flavors and oh my goodness I just hugged my oats jar that was a little, that was a little extra I'm sorry but like I just love them so much and do you want to know a fun fact you know how you go to the supermarket and there's some oats that are like 40p and some that are like three pounds for a bag I keep mine in the jar because I buy the ones that are 40p in the ugly as to price or whatever value bag because oats is oats is oats hun I don't need mine to have been rolled by Hercules you know during his freaking ordination ceremony not last ten. what I want is oats and the cheaper the better this jar like finishes very quickly I have another like kilogram in there and I they're like my staple they're my go-to oats are for me next up this is in no particular order by the way guys just next up Call me Popeye, it's spinach. Not even joking, I used to be low-key obsessed with the way Popeye would like drink the spinach and like, I, I, I need to watch that again. Actually, it was a really bad show, wasn't it? It was not that entertaining. But I used to very much enjoy watching him eat spinach. And maybe that's where this obsession comes from, because I really enjoy spinach. I love getting the unwashed version, as my bestie once told me. It lasts so much longer um, in the fridge, which is great. I also love to freeze this stuff, because I add it to so many of my meal preps. Spinach is a great source of vitamin K, of iron, folate. One reason I love it as well, so you can throw it into a smoothie, and it won't make it taste like crap. It'll still taste good. It doesn't defile your meals, or change the taste of them, it just adds a load of goodness to them. So I love spinach, I will throw it in so many meal preps, I'll literally just put it under, like say if I'm making, later I'm making orzo and chicken, one pan meal, do you wanna see that? Maybe I'll do it on my gram actually, I'm literally just about to make it, so I'll do that as a story on my Instagram, and then I will save the story to my Instagram highlights, and you can watch it there. Um, but yeah, that's a good shout as well, I do do like foodie stuff on my Instagram as well. Anyway, I, I digress. I think I've gone on about spinach long enough. I love spinach. Number two, in my no particular order, top five healthy foods that I love to keep. Number three of my top five, spices. Spicy top. Maybe it is in my culture. Maybe it is the Nigerian woman inside of me. I cannot, I cannot cook without the spice. Amen. Salt and pepper is not enough. It will never be enough. You need these spices. Now for some of you, maybe you're watching your blood pressure and you're trying to go for a low salt diet. In those instances, I would definitely recommend that you be careful. I mean, even if you're not, be careful that you don't eat too much salt. But spicing your food, flavoring your food right, is like, it's like happiness to the soul. I always make sure my spice drawer is nice and stocked, which I'm not sure it is right now, actually, so that might be a lie right now. But usually it's well stocked. Um, and I also like the already made up spices, jerk seasoning, piri piri seasoning, whatever. Throwing it in your food and just making it taste so good. Because as you know you guys, I'm all about 
the taste buds okay not literally but like a good amount about the taste buds i think that when it comes to healthy eating if you aren't enjoying your food if i was eating plain unseasoned spinach <laughs> i wouldn't be stood here today in front of you guys because i wouldn't be very healthy because i wouldn't be eating it and i wouldn't be stood here i'd probably still be alive by god's grace but i wouldn't be stood here showing you how to eat healthily basically the more that you enjoy your food the more likely you're going to carry on eating it so don't be afraid to flavor your food just right a kitchen without no seasoning that is not a kitchen my number four is whey protein let me show you actually my protein drawer oh we're moving here we go adventure so down here is my little supplement slash packet food drawer and as you know i don't really use supplements the only thing i use is whey protein and i will only tell you guys i use stuff that i actually use and as you can see i use a lot of my protein so this is vanilla flavor this is chocolate brownie flavor blueberry i have unflavored i have cookies and cream which is good by the way cookies and cream is good and then i also have this one which is not from my protein it's from somewhere else i think it was from asda um, but it is really good it tastes really good when you drink it which is rare to find in well i don't really like drinking protein <laughs> i use it in foods and i make stuff with it i'll make waffles i make pancakes smoothies do you need to go and spend a load of money on protein powder no you don't i enjoy using protein powders to make my meals so delicious and to enable me to eat other foods which i wouldn't eat as often like pancakes and waffles if i wasn't able to use those as substitutes to make them more nutritionally beneficial and make them fit in with the kind of food um slash macronutrients that i want to be eating so convenient so easy and so fun in the kitchen to be able to use all these different flavors make all these different treats making chocolate brownies so yeah my number four is protein powder and then last but not least canned beans and peas and all that cheap horrible stuff that i used to hate seeing in the cupboard when i was younger because i'd be like oh gross it made me feel sick to look at it but i've come to, i don't know why i don't know why you know these kind of items that you see in the understairs cupboard and you're like mummy's gonna hide those in some kind of stew so that we all eat them later on it always tastes good so i don't mind but anyway i digress so red kidney beans i love i could eat them oh i might use them now actually I just love them. I love them so much. And chickpeas, I've come to love. I always make sure that I buy them in water. They are super, super cheap. You can get them for like 40p a can, depending on whether you go for a fancy brand or a plain brand. As you know me, I go for the cheap, cheap. <laughs> I go for the cheap brands. I love them because you don't have to cook them. Literally, I use the same way I use spinach to just bulk up my meals and add some variants to my meal prep. So I will just drain them and throw them in and Bob's your uncle. Maybe you're getting the theme that, you know, I can be quite lazy when it comes to cooking. I enjoy cooking, I'll put in the effort, but for my standard, I go for minimal effort because the less effort it is, the more likely I am to stick to it. The better it tastes with the seasoning, the more likely I am to eat it. So it's all about anticipating your future self and making sure that you don't make things any harder for yourself. There's enough stress in life. Your healthy diet should not be one. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you found that helpful. Let me know your top five in the comments. I would love to know your staples when it comes to healthy food. What is always in your kitchen? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey. Don't go, don't go. Hey. Are you my Johnny? Question. Is it my journey? Question.